Imagine the year is 21 and 25. You step onto a sleek spacecraft, not to orbit Earth or even land on Mars, but to cross the stars. The destination? Another solar system light years away. The speed? Faster than light. It sounds impossible. It might be. But what if it's not? Let's explore what could happen if humanity achieves faster than light travel in just one century. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, Nothing with mass can move faster than the speed of light. As you approach light speed, time slows down. Mass increases. Energy demands explode. So how could we ever go beyond it? Today, science doesn't have a working method. But ideas exist. Wild, theoretical ones. Warp drives. Wormholes. Quantum shortcuts. They all share one thing. They don't move the ship faster than light. They move space itself. The most famous idea? The Alcubierre Warp Drive, proposed in 1994, it doesn't push a ship forward. It compresses space in front of the ship and expands it behind, like surfing a wave through space-time. It requires something called negative energy, a theoretical form of exotic matter. So far, we've never seen it. But in a hundred years, who knows? Some modern scientists are working on micro-versions of this now. If progress continues, warp bubbles might become real, one day. Another idea, wormholes. These are tunnels through space-time, like shortcuts between distant points. They're allowed in general relativity, but they'd need extreme conditions to stay open and might collapse the moment something enters them. Could humans stabilize a wormhole? Maybe not today. But in 100 years, with AI, quantum computing, and energy we haven't yet discovered? Maybe. Let's imagine it happens. The year is 2125. Humanity launches its first faster-than-light mission. The goal? Alpha Centauri, the closest star system, 4.3 light years away. A conventional trip would take tens of thousands of years. With a warp bubble or stabilized wormhole, it might take weeks, or hours, or even minutes. Suddenly we are no longer bound to one star. We become an interstellar species. The effects on civilization would be massive. Other planets become reachable, habitable, explorable. Communication delay. Even if we move fast, light speed still limits messages. So we may need quantum entanglement to talk across systems instantly. New sciences, physics would evolve. Reality itself would be redefined. Resources, asteroids, moons, and alien worlds could fuel new economies. Ethics and danger, who decides where we go? What if we meet something, or someone out there? FTL travel doesn't just move ships. It transforms civilizations. But faster than light travel isn't just hard, it's weird time paradoxes, causality violations, energy unknowns, space itself reacting to motion. It may break the laws of physics or rewrite them. Some physicists think it's forever impossible. Others think it's only a matter of understanding reality differently. Hundred years ago, no one had walked on the moon. Now we build robots that land themselves. What could the next 100 years hold? In the end, faster than light travel isn't just about science. It's about hope. The hope to go further, to understand more, to escape limits. It's the kind of dream that makes humanity what it is. Curious, restless, unstoppable. Even if it takes a hundred years, even if it takes 1,000, we will try.